To me, an expert is someone who has a great deal of skill and knowledge about a particular uh, topic. They could have gotten that uh, through a number of ways, but I think mainly experience, which is a great teacher, uh, and it comes from learning. And it could be from learning in a college, or it could be learning through books, uh, whatever it takes for someone to acquire a certain amount of knowledge in a particular area. I believe that an expert is someone who has extensive experience and study in a particular area and has really lived that area long enough that they can adapt and understand and assess almost any situation that they're in. An expert is someone who knows things. <laughs> now that's pretty simple, um, but really it is somebody who knows things. The key is we all know things. So what context are we looking at? I think what makes an expert is somebody also who knows what they don't know. My judgment may carry more weight because I've done the hard work that is required to, uh, to think critically about the, the subject that I'm talking about. Distinguishing characteristic of an expert as opposed to someone who just has a passing interest in a subject or um, likes to think about a subject uh, is accountability. So if there are mechanisms in place by which the, this person's command of the field is tested uh, or if there's a credentialing capability, so for example, uh, obtaining academic credentials or press credentials or uh, credentials in a trade, um, that helps to distinguish between people who uh, are, are true experts in a field uh, from people who maybe have an, have an interest but don't quite have the expertise, if you will, to be considered an expert. People who are um, perhaps uh, technically amateurs, they don't have a PhD in history or they don't have a formal training, may have been practitioners for years and, and developed expertise. That too can happen. I can uh, rely upon them because they, they have something that maybe I don't have. <laughs>
those primary materials, you're, that's much more convincing. If you're sifting other people's arguments about those materials, you haven't maybe uh, exposed yourself in, in a way that would allow you to make reliable judgments. You know, just to measure the internal coherence and consistency of arguments is, is another way to, to do this. Uh, students need to be able to learn how to distinguish between a logical, rationally um, uh, advanced argument and something, again, that is maybe just opinion. So when you see information for the first time from a source and maybe you don't understand that source, you, know, you want to cross-check that information with other sources particularly sources that have been shown to be reliable. Sort of that instinct to cross-check information as you come across it, uh, if you're not sort of certain in advance that it's, or if it's, it's perhaps dubious information, I think is an important uh, characteristic that we should all try to uh, refine as best we can. Sometimes I can size up a situation quickly. Other times it takes me a little bit more time um, because I try to uh, understand how uh, this person acquired that information or that, that skill, that knowledge, that expertise, and then, you know, uh, then I have to make a judgment whether um, this is going to be helpful to me or not.